What's up guys, KS here. Thanks for joining me today as always. Back in 2017, Sig Sauer began releasing the enhanced versions of their popular P320 line, beginning with the X5. We took a look at the original version when it first came out and I have to say, I loved it. It's big, soft shooting, and well balanced. Now in 2019, Sig is up the game with the X5 Legion. There are several enhancements made to the Legion Edition, most notably, the frame has been infused with tungsten to add weight while retaining the slight flex in the polymer. Some may even say it's the best of both worlds. Stay tuned to find out. Before we jump in, I want to thank my Patreons for helping out the channel. You guys and gals are amazing. This is a crowdsourced channel only and becoming a Patreon or simply checking out the free to you links down below to gear I actually use does help keep the content coming since YouTube no longer pays ad revenue. All right, let's do a couple of quick comparisons with the X5. And I figure right off the bat, the first thing that I think people are gonna be very curious about is gonna be it compared to the CZ Shadow 2, full disclaimer, this may be my favorite gun in the collection. So uh, it might be an interesting revisit on an If I Could Only Have One, because these guys have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe before, but the non-Legion version. So I wonder if the Legion version is going to uh, is going to be able to uh, best the Shadow 2. That might be a dangerous question. There are going to be a lot of comments on that, I'm sure. But that X5 Legion is going to be 8.5 inches long, and it's 5.8 inches tall trying to get these guys as close as I can these are big guns guys no doubt about that we're talking 1.6 inches wide now the barrel length is five inches on this just like its standard brother the biggest difference in this is the grip frame itself is infused with tungsten so that's going to give it a lot of extra weight it comes in at 43.5 almost 44 ounces the original one was something like 35 36 ounces something like that so it's pretty close to an eight ounce difference between the two and i have to say it makes a world of difference now for a little comic relief, I thought it'd be pretty funny to bring in the P365 as a comparison as well. One of the smallest SIGs on the market. Just to give you guys a size reference between these two guys, and I will tell you, there is one unbelievable difference between the two. I think it is absolutely hilarious to put these two guys up against each other um, because they're both nine millimeter, but there is such an amazing, an amazing difference between these guys. I mean, it just, seriously, it's comical to do that, but, uh, but I, I thought it would be enjoyable just to see how these two guys match up with each other. We're going to be taking a walk around the frame here in just a moment, but I did want to give you guys an idea about the magazines. It does come with three 17 round magazines. That's a little bit interesting. The original X5 had the 21 round magazine options in it, uh, but it does have the anodized aluminum base pads or base plates from the Henning Group. It does have the Legion logo on them. I like the look of these magazines quite a bit when they're outside of the gun. However, when they're in the gun, here's the, here's the really strange things, guys. You'll notice it basically disappears in the magwell. Um, not only does that make seating the uh, magazines a little bit more of a chore, you really have to make sure you get them in there, especially if you're running in competition, but I think it makes the gun look a little bit weird. So I have also been testing, I, I have an old 21 round magazine, an extra one that I bought for my original X5, and I've been using that in here, and frankly, I think that's a better look. I think it would have been cool if they had done 21 round magazines for this because it does cost more and I'll talk about price a little bit later, but still have that anodized aluminum uh, signature base plate to, to one degree or another. I think that just would have been a better option. It's, it's one of the few uh, criticisms I have of this. So I'm going to run with this for the rest of the video because I think this just looks a little bit better. It looks more balanced than the uh, than the regular uh, base plate magazine, whatever you want to say, that, uh, that comes with it, that 17 rounder. Again, a little bit of a disappointment. But as we move into the frame, there is a lot of stuff going on here, and I'm actually going to take the magazine back out here in just a minute. You guys will notice right off the bat that there is a hefty hefty magwell in this. That's one of the really cool things and it's actually weighted quite a bit. In fact, there's also a removable weight that's in the frame. So you can take the magwell off, you can take the weight off uh, if for some reason you're running in some sort of competition that has weight restrictions or you just don't like that particular balance. You want something a little bit more top heavy. 
I don't. I want as much weight in the frame as I can because I think it really does help with that overall balance, uh, which I'll refer to a couple of times in this. But again, really nice magwell there. It makes uh, seating those magazines extremely easy, no doubt about that. But as we get to our uh, our grip texture itself, it's the same X-Series grip texture that we've come to expect from all the different uh, X-Series models. And I have to say, I love this texture. I think it's a fantastic texture. Uh, feels really good in the hand. It gives you enough purchase on the gun, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not uh, abrasive or anything like that. So I think it's a really nice combination of the two and it makes for really comfortable all day shooting. Now, if you're out in 100 degree weather, uh, there's a chance, this, a chance this might not be light enough for you or uh, actually aggressive enough rather, but uh, under most circumstances, I think this is more than enough. So they did a great job with that. And as we move up, of course, we do have our beaver tail and a nice sweep under the beaver tail as well. Very smooth here. So it's extremely comfortable and a really nice undercut under the trigger guard. So um, the, the overall ergonomics when you put your hand on this, as long as you've got reasonably decent size hands this is an incredibly comfortable gun to hold on to now if you have pretty small hands this might be a little bit big for you um, and and that's where something like maybe the uh, the X compact or something might make more sense but uh, but for most I think this is going to be pretty comfortable now we do have our magazine release standard p320 fair it is not ambidextrous out of the box however you can swap it around I've seen a couple of videos on doing it I've never tried myself um, it looks like a little bit of a pain to do. I suppose once you do it a couple times, it probably isn't too bad, but uh, there are several steps that go into doing that. So if you're wondering, again, there's some good videos on doing it out there. And then we do have our slide lock slide release and it is ambi out of the box. So you can make this fully ambi. That's another really nice thing about the P320. And this does really well. Um, it's it's the right placement. Um, it's good for the thumb. Uh, one thing I think some people might end up riding it a little bit, might make uh, last round hold open an issue. It's not for me, but uh, for some it might be. And then we do have our takedown levers. Again, standard fare for the P320. It's also how you get your module out, which I'll talk about in a moment. And we will take this down here in just a little while as well so we can see what's going on on the inside. And then we do have our accessory rail for lights, lasers, tiny ninjas, all that kind of good stuff, and a little bit of texture on the front of the trigger guard as well. Now we'll come back to the trigger, but it is a skeletonized trigger, so a little bit lighter than your standard Fair P320 X5. But overall, guys, the uh, the grip frame on this is fantastic. And again, the one other thing that uh, is pretty cool about the P320s, most of us know this at this point, and it's no different with the X5 Legion. It's a removable trigger module, and that's the serialized part. That's considered the gun itself. So you can transplant this into other uh, X-Series or P320s if you want to do that. Um, so, you know, again, we've got that flexibility there. There may, might be some other uh, grip modules out there that uh, you want to explore and take advantage of that really nice module. In terms of the slide, they carry forward most of the features from the original X5. It does have the same roll marks that you would expect, including saying X5. So one thing about the X Compact they didn't do, they did not do the little roll mark there. Not a big deal, of course, doesn't impact functionality, but uh, but inconsistency is always interesting to me. Now we've got nice serrations here. They definitely do the job. You'll see that they're broken up because of some of the mill work on the slide, which I really like. It breaks it up. In fact, I, I think the X series in general is actually a really good looking line, model line for six hour, if you will, but nice serrations up front. And then we also have good looking serrations in the back as well. Again, I find them just usable. They're fine. Uh, they could be probably a little bit deeper, but uh, they definitely will serve. And then as we move up on the slide, you'll notice that uh, we do have some lightning cuts here that definitely reduces a little bit of weight, even though the bull barrel, which we'll take uh, take a look at a little bit later, adds weight to it. So uh, you're, you're, it's a give and take one way or the other. And then it is cut for the new Romeo 1 Pro right here. It's got a Legion stamp on it. Um, that's your base plate. So when we take apart the gun, we'll be able to see how this is all taken apart. But uh, but I don't have any experience with the Romeo 1 Pro. Now you'll notice that uh, you do lose your rear sight with that. So I'm curious to know if that Romeo 1 Pro does have a little bit of a cut in the back uh, to make up for the lack of rear sight. So um, if anyone uh, knows anything about that, has any experience, be sure to holler down below because I am not 100% sure. 
Now, in terms of sights, we do have Dawson Precision uh, fiber optic sights here. It's got a little bit of serration in the front. It is a phenomenal sight for accuracy. I mean, this is an uber accurate gun without question. However, I find when I'm running it a little bit faster, that sight is so small, even with the uh, bright fiber optic rod, that uh, that I do struggle picking uh, picking it up a little bit. Now, it came with the green fiber optic, which is fantastic, so I did not have to swap it out. I always prefer green, and it did come with a few extra rods. That's, uh, that's fantastic. And nice touch. A lot of guns these days are not doing that. And then on our rear sight, we've got a yeah, serrated adjustable sight here so you can dial it in. You'll notice I've got it raised up uh, quite a bit because I find that X5s tend to shoot a little bit low for me. So uh, I've raised it up just about to the max height and that uh, dialed it right in. So it was really easy to do. I'll give you a look at the other side. There's your other adjustment point there. So um, you can definitely customize that as you will look at the rest of the slide there. So um, most of the slide again is carried forward from the original X5. Just a couple of additional features there and I love what they've done to it. All right, we're going to take a look at the disassembly of the X5 Legion, and it is very similar to uh, to your uh, other P320s out there. We've got our disassembly lever, we've locked our slide back, and then we just swing that lever down. That one's actually really easy. Some P320s, this thing is super tight, but uh, this one is not. We release the slide, and notice I do not have to pull the trigger, even though I don't care. It's not a big deal to me. Some people don't like it. We can get our slide and our frame apart, and then everything else is kind of as you would expect. There is a big difference here. You'll notice that to recoil spring and guide rod, that red really catches your attention. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. We're going to remove our guide rod and spring assembly. It is not captive. There is a reason why, so don't freak out too much just yet. I know some people do not like that. And then we need to take out our barrel. We'll come back to that in a moment. But we'll take a look at our slide first. There's another good look at uh, our Legion slide there. So a couple of things. First, the maintenance on this is incredibly easy. In fact, this is actually pretty light, especially with those lightning cuts in there. They've reduced a little bit of weight back here as well with this cut. But very easy to clean and maintain. And then in the back here, you'll notice there's a hole right here, and believe it or not, um, this actually goes down a little bit further in that uh, cavern, if you will. And those are the screws for your red dot plate. Um, I like the fact that they do this underneath. It makes it just a little bit cleaner up top. So uh, that's how you would switch that out. But again, very easy to clean, very easy to maintain. And then we've got our tungsten infused frame. I'll tell you what, this thing weighs a pound. Um, it's substantial, although it's still got that flex of polymer. So uh, very good stuff there, man. This thing is substantial. There's a look at your trigger module. Uh, it's the same as any other, so this would pop into uh, any of your other P320s without issue. But uh, but again, that's your frame. I mean, when you pick this thing up, it is shocking. I mean, it is shocking how <laughs> heavy that is. Uh, weighs more than the P365, just about. Uh, and there is your barrel, that bull barrel. Um, it does have a little bit of wear on the hood, and I've only got 300 to actually 250 rounds through it. Um, so I, I find that six-hour barrels tend to wear a little more. However, the front of the barrel has no wear, so uh, that's actually kind of cool. We've got a little bit of a target crown in the front. I mean, this thing is substantial. And there's a look at uh, your feed ramp, all that kind of good stuff. It's not really highly polished, but it's certainly very smooth, does the job without issue. Now we've got uh, we've got our guide rod here. It is steel and it is definitely substantial. It's got a lot of weight to it, good quality there. But then we get to our springs. Um, so here's the thing about the springs and a really unique thing about the uh, P320 Legion. It actually comes with two springs. And that's why it's not captive. So you can actually adjust it depending on the weight of bullet, uh, the power factor of the bullet uh, that you're using. Now it comes with the, uh, the heavier, the 14 pound spring in it. I made the mistake of taking that and only that to the range on day one. And I shoot 115 grain range ammo, just PMC range ammo because of cost, it's just easier to deal with. Uh, and uh, it did not function well at all. I had stovepipe after stovepipe, and I also had last round hold open issues, especially on the 21 round magazine. Uh, so I, I wasn't really worried about it because I knew I had uh, this 12 pound spring at home. So went back for day two after I switched the spring out. I'll tell you what, solved all the issues. It ran like a top. So um, if you've got issues or anything like that, make sure you have both of your springs with you so you can dial it in and avoid any issues or anything like that. Don't make the mistake of uh, not taking it with you like I did. So uh, that's the uh, one of the unique things about it. It's, it's a 1911 spring from what I understand. That's another interesting uh, thing about that. So 
Um, you guys that are more uh, experts on that, you'll have to holler down below as to why that would be advantageous, I imagine, because there are a lot of different weight uh, 1911 springs out there. That would be my guess. Uh, but then when we get everything back together, we seat our barrel just like so. Now, here's where things uh, become kind of a two-handed operation, and I probably won't make this look very good. But to get this all put back together, see, there we go. You've got to guide it all in. See, guide rod, get it. And get it all seated just like so and make sure that it's all nice and straight looks pretty straight to me and once we do that we can get our slide back on our frame and we do need to lock it open and once we do we'll flip our lever and then we're good to go so that is the disassembly of the p320 x5 legion i like that guide rod system i think that's a very unique approach to this the shooting experience with the X5 Legion was awesome, but not without a few first day frustrations. As previously discussed, the recoil spring had to be swapped out in order to reliably fire 115 grain range ammo. That solved both the stove pipes as well as the last round hold open on the 21 round mag. The grip texture and the contours of the X5 frame are fantastic and provide a comfortable gripping surface for all day shooting. The added weight from the tungsten all but eliminates felt recoil and muzzle flip, even in my crazy hands. I love the sight picture, but admittedly the front sight tends to be more difficult to pick up during rapid fire due to its small size. Although the slide has lightning cuts, you can feel it smoothly reciprocating with every trigger pull, and it's a fantastic sensation. The trigger. Oh, the trigger is amazing. We'll take a closer look at it in a moment, but this is easily the best P320 trigger I've ever experienced. All right, let's take a look at the trigger of the X5 for a moment or two. And as I said earlier in the video, it's skeletonized, so it reduces the weight a little bit. It is a flat trigger with just a little bit of a hook, no safety lever, no hinge, anything like that, as you would expect with other P320s. But in terms of the trigger pull, there's our take up, guys, right there. That's it. It is extremely short, and we get to a nice wall and then we pull right through. Now I'm getting about 3.2 pounds at the very bottom of the trigger and about 3.8 or three and a half pounds in the middle of the trigger, depending on uh, how you like to pull your gauges, if you will, but, uh, but that is tremendous. Now, the brake itself is still a little bit of that P320 thud, as we all have gotten to know, but it is incredibly light. It's, it's by far the best uh, trigger pull on a P320 I felt, and then our reset, there's a reset, so it's a little bit longer than some other firearms out there, including that Shadow 2, but uh, but it's still decent. It's not too bad, and then we're out to the start. So that reset is exactly where the wall is. Now, for consistency's sake, that's still not too bad. We'll do this a couple more times. There's your take up right to the wall. There's your break again. The break on this is impressive. And then our reset right there and a follow-up shot. I will say, um, when I spent time with this at the range, this trigger really screams to go very fast. In fact, there were times where my trigger finger was like, forget it, let's just go. And it went, but I'll tell you, the trigger on the X5 Legion is easily the best P320 trigger I've ever experienced. So guys, what do I think of the Sig Sauer P320 X5 Legion? I love it. I've been trying to find things I don't like to stay fair and balanced, but this is one of those times when a manufacturer hits a home run. It's got all the bells and whistles to begin competing, have a home defense option, or just plinking at the range. Between the tungsten-infused grip frame, the P320 modularity, precise balance, excellent slide-to-frame fitment, and A-plus trigger, it's to me a no-brainer. The kicker here is that it's out for sale for $8.99 or under depending on where you look. That, my friends, is a fair price. Yes, there are other great options for less, but I think the X5 Legion will surely be turning heads. Guys, let me know what you think of the X5 and whether you agree or disagree down in the comments. I'm always looking forward to having a conversation with you, and otherwise, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.